Hello everyone, this is Pippin Williamson with Pippin's Pages and Pippin'sPlugins.com and in this quick video I want to give you a demo of the new add-on plugin I have available for easy content types. Uh, this is called Bonus Meta Field Types and what it does is provide additional meta box field types that you can use within easy content types. So if you're familiar with easy content types, which you would have to be in order to use this plugin, uh, you know that when you're creating a meta box, you have a variety of fields here that you can choose from to create your advanced meta boxes that you can use in your post, custom post types, pages, etc. Well, with this plugin active, we now have a five extra fields added down here at the bottom. Um, there is a taxonomy field, a separator field, a menu field, a color picker, and a map. Uh, so I want to go ahead and show you what each of these fields does really quickly. Uh, so let's go ahead and add in our new fields. So let's add the first one called taxonomy. Uh, and we're going to call it, we're going to pull up the taxonomy field. And then we're going to say this is the taxonomy field. Actually, no, let's do this instead. And we're going to, so we're going to call it a genre just like this, and add field. Okay, so now we have a genre field. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and drag it down here below the text field, because that's where we decided we want it. And now, let's go over to our movies post type. And here it is. So let's add a new movie. Uh, let's just call it, let's do The Princess Bride. Okay, this is, this is my movie content. Okay, so now we have our meta box down here, which should look very familiar that you've got your text field. But now we have a genre field down here where we can pick a taxonomy. So in this case, we're going to choose our genres and we're going to hit publish. Okay, now what this has basically done is this field pulls in all of the taxonomies that are registered in our site. So if we go over here to our taxonomies page, you can see that I have this genres taxonomy registered and you see genres is available right here. So what this allows you to do is pull in all of the available genres and then uh, we can do a variety of things with that. If you're a theme developer, there's some pretty advanced things you can do, but if you just want to be, if you don't feel like doing anything extra, we have a nice little short code that we can use now. Um, and here it is, ECP underscore taxonomy ID equals genre. Um, and then a, there's an extra parameter called attached. And that's explained all in the documentation exactly what that does. But now if we hit update, uh, and actually let's go ahead and check some of these over here. Oops. I want to view the movie. You can see all of those genres are now listed right here because they've been outputted by my taxonomy, by my short code, uh, which is this one right here. If I wanted, I could actually set this to false, and now it's just going to display all of the terms available in that taxonomy. There they are. So this is a really powerful little uh, meta box field slash shortcode that you can use for example, displaying an archive of categories on your about page. You have your blog and you have an about page that talks about your blog and then you say here's a, a list of the categories we have available. And you could list the categories from any taxonomy you wanted. Okay, so that's that's pretty cool. Now let's take a look at the other fields. Okay, we have another one called separator and we're just going to call this separator just like that. And what this does is it actually puts in a separator in our meta box. So let's drag this up between the two fields just like that. And now you see that we have a nice border in between the fields. So it gives you a really easy way to separate your meta box into sections. All right, that one's pretty straightforward. Now we have another field called menu, just like that. And when we go look at our post now, we have all of a, a drop down with all of the nav menus available. And we can just choose a nav menu. And now let's get rid of this actually, and let's do ECPT underscore menu ID equals menu. The ID is the name of the field that you created. So now you see that this has listed all of the menu items inside of my main navigation menu. So if I go over here, look at my main nav, here they are. Let's drag these around so test is on top. And there you go. So now I can display a nav menu in any page I want. And because it's controlled by a meta box field, 
I can control which nav menu is displayed on a page by page or post by post basis. So if I change this over to the test menu, I now see that menu. All right, so that's pretty cool. Now, let's check it out. We have a color picker field. So now, I can actually choose a color. So let's choose any color we want. Let's take that one right there. And now, there's that color. Now, I can do whatever I want with this color. Um, I, I can output it in my template. I can control the uh, the border colors of images. It makes it really, really easy that if you do a couple modifications with your theme, you can actually use a field like this to allow your post authors to actually control the colors of their posts on a post-by-post -post basis. So that's pretty cool. And now we have one more field called a map. This one's pretty imp simple and straightforward. And what it does is simply generates a map based off of the address you've inputted. So let's take a look here. Here's our map Our map right here. So let's enter my address. And I'm just going to enter this address right here. Monterey Way, Lawrence, Kansas 66049. OK, now I'm going to hit Update. Now, if I want to display this map, I can do that very easily, just like this. ID equals Google Map. Once again, this is the ID number, the ID of your field. And if I actually go over here to my meta box, I can see that it's actually generated the short code for me. Uh, so it's generated the, the Google Map short code, the menu short code, and the taxonomy short code. So it's done all of that for me. Um, so if I just do this, and now I take a look at my post, there's my Google Map. Uh, for any address I want, there's also a variety of parameters you can set for this. Uh, so this is really cool. Um, especially because you don't necessarily just have to use a shortcode for these as well. You could actually control this post meta based off of values in your template with template tags, uh, just like you would any other post meta. Um, last thing is, is that I've added an extra bonus fields help page that just talks about each of these fields and shows you how to use them and exactly what they do. Um, so it's pretty extensive. Uh, this requires Easy Content Types version 2.3.3 or later. Um, I hope you like it. It's, a, it's pretty useful. I'm going to be adding additional field types to this. Um, so let me know what you think. Have a great day.